on my hiatus, I did lots of um, deep study into the sciences, and um, from Platonic parody, which was like a match that just lit this immense fire, um, I got this idea that maybe I don't need to be so rigid in my thinking as far as the sciences are concerned. And so, um, in this video, I'm going to be including some quotations from a wonderful book that I was reading over my break, and um, it's this book, Uncertainty, um, Einstein, Heisenberg, Bohr, and the Struggle for the Soul of Science. A wonderful book. Um, can't say enough about it. Um, you can most probably make your own conclusions from reading books on this side or this side, I don't really know. Um, just kind of a, the historical irony of, um, of science was its original roots coming from, not all of its roots, definitely you have some people who are just insatiable um, in their curiosity, as I am. Um, but then there were others that were, that were trying to emancipate themselves from a theocracy that was very violent and, and that capitalized on the ignorance of, of its people for tithe and everything like that. And so from that, I uh, made a construct of science, and from that construct of science, it was backed, backed by people, and so it became a social structure that became just as rigid as the structure um, that the forefathers tried to emancipate future generations from. I think it's a hilarious irony if you actually think about it. I can't even go into it enough. Um, also, I included some quotations from Einstein's um, essay, which I would definitely recommend. Um, just, just his whole book of essays were, were, just, were just lovely pieces of reading. Um, cosmic religion, what that really means. Um, some quotes, I'm going to include those in this too. Um, and I think that that's pretty much about it. The liberalism of thought. I'm finally a liberal thinker when it comes to science. I can't stand um, things that are rigid and, and not open to at least communication and discussion openly. Aristotle, you know, accepting or entertaining an idea without having to accept it. And so um, it's so nice now that I have uh, a newfound liberalism when it comes to the sciences, and there's not like this little person tapping me every time I get existential that says, how dare you, Shannon, don't you dare go back to the prehistoric ages now. And I kind of realize that a lot of that, um, that being scared of existentialism is rooted from religious thinking, where religion just kind of got way out of control. Um, and so that's pretty much it, and, uh, check it out. Uh, David Lindley, don't, don't sue me for breaking copyright, okay?